It's just flipping pitiful. His top hat is just pitiful. Look at that. I only got, you know, one, two, three, seven orange lights on that thing. You can't see that from the road. It's, it's awful. So what am I going to do about it? You can bet I'm going to do something about it. I'm noxious. Keep up your Christmas ornaments. Make them look bright and cherry. There's fairly good information out there about the Emil J. Paydar uh, chair situation. But uh, I was doing it wrong. I didn't really know. Uh, I've watched some dudes and there's a breakdown in there. So, uh, you know, I was pulling this the wrong way. Pulling on this is incorrect. The way it pumps up is, you know, you pump it and then to let it down, you push it all the way down. That's what, I, what I'm seeing. So that means this bar would come all the way up because that's the way the cam works on it. And uh, I think my acid has done its work down there. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, take this off uh, tilt this over, see if I can dump out all the little bits in there, and uh, I'm going to be throwing all this stuff away anyway, old shower curtain, uh, and then I'm going to try to lash onto the bar inside of here and pull up with this thing and see, and see if I can get that to flex and relief, and then maybe I can get this inner part out, but I, this is completely wrong. Okay, I just didn't know, I, you know, but I did find enough information over several, uh, oh, I just did, I just did this, uh, I've let all the air out of my, my air system, well, that's the best place to bleed it out of, and I put this valve here, I was just looking at it the other day, I'm tired of paying to pump this thing up every time I want it, so I put this valve in, and uh, so, you know, that's on, and. And then, you know, when I leave here, I can just turn that off. Because the, the reason for that is I am sick to death of this thing. But it, it works, but it doesn't work. There's two O-rings in here, and they don't last very long. And that's so it can spin. And I'm very, very tired of messing with that thing. So uh, that ought to save a lot of air and time and money. Uh, just, uh, just turning it off. So... I probably need some new air hose, but that old orange air hose has worked out pretty good. So anyway, maybe one day I'll change all that. It won't be too expensive. And I see no reason to run the big plumbing situations like people. A lot of people don't do it properly. And you can put ports all around the shop. I just don't I just don't use it that way. So anyway, let's let's see about dumping that thing. Boy, I'm talking muriatic acid, so you gotta have eye and and gloves and all kinds of stuff out there. So see, let's see what we get. I've gotten where I like to keep my camera here. I don't know why. I just prefer it to stay right, right there. Okay. Well, let's talk about this. This is wasn't a great idea, but it's all I could think of. This is the bar that goes through the unit, the great big bar, and this is the handle that goes on the end. And I, my understanding of how this barber chair works is you. And I remember this, you know, from when I was a kid. But you, you pump you pump the thing up, and when you want to let it down, you push it all the way down, and it goes past the valve, and it releases the brake and all that stuff. So I was trying to do that, and this just crumbled. That's about the best way to describe it. It just crumbled, and it was already cracked. It was already compromised, as they say in Troutman. And uh, so that's... Uh, that's that. So let me show you what we're gonna do. I don't. I don't have anything else I can do. I want this to work, and I. I anticipated a little bit of uh, resistance. I didn't anticipate this much resistance, but you know it's part of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on back up on uh, the hoist and pull the cylinder all the way up. That's ooh just. But anyway, and then I'm going to have to cut this off. 
and then I'm gonna have to drop it down all the way and then cut it, you know, at 180 degrees, make two cuts, incisions both on both sides. My die grinder has, is on loan. Uh, I'll have it back tomorrow, and uh, anyway, we'll see. But uh, I gotta get down in there. And the only way to get down in there is to take it apart. And the, uh, the little pin is there. And I need to see how it works anyway, but uh, that's where we are. It's gonna be ugly, but I can't, I just cannot think of anything else to do. I had another idea too. Uh, so she's a little chipped and, and uh, she's got her problems. But I've done this on several occasions. One of the greatest places to get touch-up paint is at your pharmacy or I hear something going on out there. Uh, so I'm going to take this little chip with me that's off this piece right here to the drugstore and get some nail polish of what I hope is close or a little darker uh, and we will we'll match that up and See, I, I threw that chip over here, I think. Uh, chip, chip. And, uh, yeah, the hardware is everywhere. Yeah, here, there it ain't. Uh, it's around here somewhere. I can chip off another piece, chip off the old block there. So, that's the, what I'm going to do. I was pretty careful about saving it, so I'll have to figure out what I did with it. And uh, I had to mix up some some fiberglass the other day. Uh, Daphne out there had a... Now, most people that will tell you this, uh, that I'm a pretty fair electrician. I rewired cars all the time. And, uh... How can I find that flipping chip? Got this stuff in the mail. My glycerin soap. Seems to me like a... I'm going to let that sit in the sun a little bit. But, uh, so we'll get the grinder and cut it tomorrow. That's all I, that's all I can do. But anyway, uh, Daphne had a, had a problem. She was, oh, let me put the cap back on this. She was intermittently blowing a fuse. And uh, I put a circuit breaker in it, but it just kept blowing it. And I'll show you what it was in a minute. Uh, I'll find that flipping chip. So here's where the chip came out, right there, and it's kind of rusty behind there. And this is the chip. Try not to drop it, it's probably too fragile a thing. And uh, so just take that with you when you go to the grocery, or grocery, whatever, wherever you can find, uh, wherever you can find your uh, nail polish. I find mine at CVS. And uh, I keep some in, uh, after I painted this car, I had a, Something chipped it pretty good right here, but you can't see it because I matched it up to some uh, There it is right there See it once you show it out and you just touch it up. I think I keep it uh, uh, It's the very bird time of year isn't it? So it's in here somewhere, but anyway just match it up best you can So let's go out and I'll show you what happened to Daphne. Let's see three things Daphne so I had a terrible gas smell. Where did it come from? From all the holes in the gas tank. Well, no, this isn't that truck. That was another truck. I hope that truck's still in service somewhere up in Chapel Hill area. So I had to get some fiberglass and fiberglass that up right there. It just don't want to focus today, does it? It's just not in the mood. Uh, okay, so anyway, that's all fiberglass. I hope that helps. I can't find a leak anywhere. This is a vented to atmosphere, so the vent actually comes out right there. Uh, there's no way you can see that, but uh, so uh, this is not a sealed system. So, and I looked underneath it and everywhere. So I'm hoping I found that. That's it. I just kept pouring it on there, and then. Uh, so I'll show you what happened with the, uh, I don't want to close this with the camera because it's so loud. Hang on. So old Daph here, she, uh, 
these wires sort of snuck off the, this goes to the turn signal. Uh, I love the turn signals because they're amber LED. It just looks beautiful. So these wires had, had slipped over in front of this bolt. And so when you put the, put the bonnet down, it was rubbing right here. Just, just that little lip right here was riding on this boat and was crushing the wires. So at least I have, uh, I think I have discovered what that is, but these things are cool. And these are a great little thing to test. And you know, I've been, I've been having to be in uh, all that city traffic. Uh, don't, don't get good mileage there. And uh, so these are pretty neat. So if it, if it pops, you can pop it back and get you home. But uh, it's just a matter of, you know, trying to stay safe, keep your brake lights and turn signals on. Although a few people use them. But that's what these are. And uh, the Cocos, oh, a delivery. I know what that is. Let me go, go get it. I guess this is going to be a random what's going on video here. I have two deer and two angels like this, uh, and uh, whew, big mess, a big old mess. Sun's about to go down, but I will, uh, I'll show you what it's like here. So it takes about an hour or two to get all the junk off of them. See, I got, uh, I'm not very dexterous today because I'm tired. Oh, I'm going, I'm doing it wrong too. I think. There you go. Oh, oh, there you go. So, yes, my friends, I, I do things like this. So it looks pretty good. So if you want to, and I don't think I do, but you can, uh, you can get a red magic marker here or Sharpie and make it look like Rudolph. Zip up. And uh, so I do things like that. So anyway, let's talk about these things. So the guy just came. I got these because Nick needs one. Look how heavy duty them babies are. I mean, that's one heavy duty waterproof situation you got there. Now I couldn't get, I could, I guess I could have found Bosch somewhere. But these are whatever these are. Uh, something they're appropriate a little bit something. These are 80, 60 amp. These are huge. And uh, so I'm going to send a picture of one of these to me. This is going to go on the Lexus. He went out to his 97 Lexus the other day. And the fan was running with everything off. Generally, it can be a bad switch, but generally it's uh, a bad relay. And uh, they, they, the contacts go bad in them, so. We sent him a picture of that, and then I just might post this because there's not much else to do. Today I'm kind of stuck, and I don't want these things getting too long. But look at that, isn't it? But out here, I know, I'm kind of missing. I've, uh, I've actually had a pretty serious cold, and everybody relax, not what you think it is. So this, this is one of the angels now, and so cleaning that off is kind of a, kind of a pain. I gotta go to the, got to go to the dump. So here's one that's completed. I don't know if I can get her to come on. Maybe I can get her to come on here. And uh, just leave her here for tonight. Now if you want the wind to come up. Oh, just barely not gonna make it. No, that's okay. Let's see if I can find something to make that work. Yeah, I've been helping a bunch of other people, so I've gotten behind here, but that's okay. Turn the lights on. So let's wrap it up and then we'll go to tomorrow. I got this paper for the headrest for the for the chair. You know, let's see if that if that works. Hang on. Just kind of for fun. I was gonna say that till the end, but I don't see any reason that. So yeah, this is just a planet day. Uh not like Earth. It's just plan it, not planet. But uh anyway, I guess we're on the planet planning it, huh? So I got a this new Honda power washer. It's just not working, and it's, I know it doesn't have six hours on it, five. So i got to pull the carburetor off. But, boy, i got to tell you, too, I can still smell that thing. It's been sitting out here for days, and it still stinks. So even after I power washed it. So let's wrap things up and uh, go back in and 
I'm just beat, so, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll start again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. Oh, I wanted to, I'll show you if, if this fits. Let's go, go find out. I keep waiting on Sean to come help me put this rear stabilizer bar on the on on the honky over there. Little TR4, and uh, but he's never here. Well, there's the part number for I'm about to show you, and it's masking, masking tape, masking paper, general purpose masking, <laughs> M-A-S-K-I-N, okay, uh, try my code, and this, this, and I will use this as masking paper, I don't need much of it. this, is just for demonstration only, but uh, it got plenty of it, and I use, I do paint cars and stuff, so it happens, so I just rolled a little off. And so what you do is you just take that thing out of there and it looks to me like you got to go this way. So this is the first time I've done this. So now the, Oh, that fits in there perfect. I had to pay more to get a shorter roll. It was kind of weird. Oh, come on, baby doll. Get in there. Yeah, go. And uh, am I in frame? Okay, pretty much. Let's, let's get a little closer. <laughs> the death march of the marionette. I don't know where that came from out of my head. So then you got then you got it on your spindle there. You got it on your roll, and uh, and you go up like this. Now then you go because I've rebuilt this. I know how it works. Then you go behind this this deal. See, it's not not hard to do at all. I guess you probably did. I don't know how, depending on how busy a barber you were. So I looked at barber supply stuff, and I really didn't find anything. I actually considered buying another barber chair to. Uh, oh, I get it. Uh, to just get the pump up base. Like I say, I keep saying I'm here nor there about this thing. So you pull up on that little trip to trip the thing locking mechanism I bet you I know what would work da -da -da. I bet you originally it probably had a little a little tab because one calorie less than tab is water and uh, let's see if I can sort this out and uh, do it like this and then make it sort of like I don't know let's make it as long as we can or within reason so so you got to pull down on the little or up like that for, and then get the brake out of the way let's see if this works Well, let's try this. Let's go at it this way. Okay, you gotta get past the brake thing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, you always think it's gonna be this easy, and it never is. So you gotta go on the upper side of the brake, which I'll show you in a second. I had it a second ago. Well, this is no, no small task. Alright, so I got that piece that piece there and there's see there's that bar up in there that's the brake. That that brake thing. So my guess would be that we're seconds away from Nirvana. I don't know if that's true or not. Alright, so you stick that on there and then you pull the brake and then you there you go. Whoa! I did it. I did something very simple. Sometimes the simple stuff's the hardest. And, uh, yeah, I can, it's wanting to fold over there. Well, I don't know. It's just, uh, it was really painful. Okay. Oh, come on. You can't. <laughs> This is hilarious. 
I guess if it's on the chair, you got it mounted on something, makes it a little easier. Uh, so let's see if I can. I won't sleep unless I get this to feed right. Oh, there's a bird in here. I hear you over there, you bird. This is going to be full of edits because I can't get it to feed right. I don't. What, what is the problem there? I think it's the the this part right here itself is sort of fouling up everything. You have to. Oh, I get it. You you can't hold it all the way. You got to let down on a little bit to make it. So so she will pass a little better. Let's try it like this. I'm going to get this thing to do right. Yeah, they don't call me golden hands for nothing. <laughs> ah. It just will not go through. See, it's hitting right here, right there. So when you pull this up, and uh, it sort of fouls as it goes through. So I think my idea of pulling it up and through and get yourself some here is going to be the ticket. I don't know. And this is all for all for show. Egad, I've always wanted to see how this works. So uh I guess you may could uh you may could just rip it like this, but I would be afraid to do that. Uh mainly because it uh it may, you know, come back out again and so the trick here is just don't push that too hard because it, it fouls it. Let's see if it locks it. Well, it locks it pretty, you know, good. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it locks it. Let me get a wide angle here because it's... Uh... Oh, there he is. I hear... Did you hear the bird flutter by? I heard you. You better get outside and do your roosting call. So, uh, it's going to look like... So, what do you do to keep it at the bottom? Is there another feed through? Nope, it just sort of hangs there. There's nothing else for it to, it just, it just floats it on out there, I guess. So, and it hides that crack in that thing. So, uh, but you do have to release it to get the paper to come out. Yeah, and it will not it will not work otherwise. I think we can do better than that. Okay, so you would want to do this with care and not slit the sheath. Okay. So there you go. Uh, that's what that should look like and how it should, should function. And uh, so, but once it's on the chair, it'll be easier because, like I say, you'll, you won't be chasing it all over a table. So, uh, oh, and if you curl it that way, it sort of naturally contours, the natural contour of your hair. You've seen Ralph Bellamy. And uh, you lose, lost your natural contour. That's the line. So, so if you want to do this thing, you just got to pull out on this. And then you'll see it through, and then it locks it. And we locks it on one side, but it does lock it. So I couldn't find anything too fancy, but that's fancy enough for me. I'm not a fancy guy. So that's what that's going to look like here. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. I don't see no reason to criticize that in any way. I got enough of it, but uh, like I say, I'll use it on paint jobs of some kind. 
Okay, well, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and share and tell your friends to subscribe. Appreciate all you you that have. So I, I like that. Okay, we'll just leave it right there. Good morning. I just got home. It's 6:41. I, I have to work at night sometimes. So but I wanted to show you this and close this thing out. So what I'm gonna do here? Uh, nice and cool. you what I do before it gets light. First of all, you're going to be able to see it much you will in a second. I use these these kind of timers, these timers for water heaters there. You don't have to worry about amperage when you got that going for you. And, <laughs> see, there he is with his repaired hat. So there's 50 red LED hats on him. I know he's sort of a mishmash of, of lights, but you know, obvious what he is. Again, carrot nose and all that other stuff. So I fixed up his hat, wanted to, I'll tell you I did that. And there's you see little red trickles running down his arm and a couple other red lights. Well, he has a bad habit of uh, escaping and Clubbing baby seals. I wish I could get him to stop doing that. So a little blood drip, dripping. No, I'm just kidding. Just a, just a little joke there. <laughs> no, he's a good boy. And uh, I've enjoyed him very much. I'm going to save the other little motor. See, this is his little function here. So when I got him, there was a very... You can see how short this was. See, I, I made this extension here. This metal extension sit real good right there. And this just used to be this long and I made it this long so his little hat used to just move like this it just barely barely moved and I've got two extra motors on the, that came out of those angels that you saw so now he really tips his hat huh okay well give me a big thumbs up and hit the like and subscribe button and I don't know where this thing came from I kind of inherited it so so there's the Eastern glow coming up over there. So, all right. Well, let's let's go uh, make some coffee. And I'm, I'm kind of lucky in a way because I get to. Most people are getting up now to go to work, and I'm home, and I don't have to go to work. Okay.